Hello subscribers, it's another Thursday night in November, which means it's time for Collected to reveal another batch of prehistoric animals for 2021. The first one here is a deluxe pteranodon. Now this one is quite similar to the safari figure from 2019, as they're both in a standing pose. Now compared to the safari figure, I actually prefer the paint job of that toy instead of this Collected one, because as we all know, Collected tends to make pretty drab paint jobs for their prehistoric animals. But in terms of the sculpt, this Collected one blows the safari one out of the water, and according to everything dinosaur, it will have an articulated jaw. Not sure if I'll get this Pteranodon, but I'll most likely stick with my safari figure, as I'm not too crazy about pterosaur figures, and Collected Deluxe toys tend to be a bit overpriced. So that's the new Pteranodon. The second figure to be revealed is a theropod, specifically Megalosaurus Bucklandi. Now I believe that this is the first proper Megalosaurus out there, but let me know in the comments if I'm wrong. So this figure has no base, but at least the feet aren't too oversized like the Roaring Allosaurus from 2020. But I enjoy the color scheme of this figure. I really love the contrast of the black striping and the light gray body. This Megalosaurus also has a closed mouth like some of the Safari 2020 dinosaurs, but this closed mouth is sculpted very well and looks far better than some of those Safari dinosaurs. Because I really didn't like how Safari put a black line around the lip area to indicate that the mouth is closed. I just think it looks pretty goofy in my opinion. So I'll most likely get this figure as I'm in the need of a good Megalosaurus. The last prehistoric animal to be revealed for this batch is a Neovenator. Now like the Megalosaurus, the original figure of this dinosaur really needed some updating. And also like the Megalosaurus, this Neovenator also has a nicely sculpted closed mouth. But the paint job on this figure? I'd say it's better than the Fukui Raptor, but it still really is my favorite. I really don't like the, the choice of light green being mixed with a darker green and yellow on the face. Now, I'm afraid that the issues that affected the 2020 Allosaurus are present on this Neovenator, such as the skinny legs and the oversized feet. But other than that, everything else seems to be fine. And I'll most likely be adding this to my collection as I don't have any Neovenator figures. So, those are my thoughts on the second batch of Collected 2021 Prehistoric Animals. And the Megalosaurus is my favorite out of these three, and I think it's more exciting than the Mamenchisaurus. So, still no Zephacnus to be shown, but there are still two batches left, and hopefully it will be a part of at least one of them. So, that is it for this video. If you guys liked it, leave a comment, like, subscribe, and let me know in the comments which one is your favorite out of these three.